Rock and roll never dies, and this guy proves that that's 100% accurate. All right, in the house today, we have an oldie, but definitely a goodie, Lord Raptor from PCS Collectibles. Now, this was back in the day when PCS was known as pop culture shock, not premium collectible statues like they are today. And even though Morgan is my favorite dark stalker, Lord Raptor here was the guy I would always use in the arcade. Reason being, he was just some kind of crazy, maniacal, lunatic, zombie, heavy metal guy that had all kinds of crazy weapons in his arsenal. I mean, this dude could take his leg and turn it into a chainsaw, a buzzsaw, um, pull out his bones and extend them to huge spears, huge spikes, um, utilize electricity to shock his opponent. He was just freaking crazy. His special move as well was kind of weird. He would turn you into a basketball and then freaking dunk you. Um, like I mentioned in my previous video, Darkstalkers was a fighting game that wasn't really meant to be taken seriously. I don't think so because all the characters in there had some kind of weird, crazy moves that were just freaking out of this world. So the character that Lord Raptor here represented was a zombie. Not only just a zombie, but as we can see, a rock and roll zombie. So it's pretty obvious to see why I chose him to use in the game. But enough of that, let's get to the review. So when Lord Raptor was released, this was during that time period when Pop Culture Shock was doing a lot of cap consoles, Street Fighter, and a couple of Darkstalkers. They always kept their bases very, very simple. I mean, there's actually no artwork, no sculpting to the base. It was just a flat base to hold the figure up. And that's exactly what we have here, just a regular circular black base. One thing I really like about this figure is that his pants here are actually mixed media. So yes, these are fabric, these are sewn in, these are cut, and he actually has this British patch right here on the front of his thigh. And the fabric here is, I guess, um, a denim kind of fabric, kind of a jean, but it's not blue jeans, they're purple. But working from the bottom up, I mean, he has some gnarly freaking looking feet. Those tail nodes are full of fungus, as we can see. They're all yellow and pointy, almost like claws in a sense. Uh, which makes sense because if this guy's a zombie, he's going to have to be clawing out of graves, things of that nature. <laughs> and the color throughout Lord Raptor is this nice shade of blue. And throughout his skull, we can see there's different shadows and shadings of blue here. The only other color besides the blue is right here in his forearms and his elbows where the bones are actually popping out. Again, this guy will freaking pull out his elbows and make them into huge spikes to stab people. and. He's just a freaking crazy ass character. But the color right here in his forearms and the bones is more like of a flesh, um, muscular kind of color. So we can see that, that flesh decay, that color, as far as the zombie element goes. And speaking of protruding bones, right here on his spine, we can see three protruding bones coming out of his spine. They almost like comical, stereotypical, kind of like a dog bone. One, two, three, there they are, one, two, three just sticking out of his back. But because he is a zombie, he does still have a couple of flesh and muscularity there. And I don't know if it's because he's a zombie or because this dude was pumping iron, but this dude is severely cut, ripped, lean. <laughs> so yeah, we can see a lot of muscular definitions, striations, things of that nature. Very defined back, very defined chest, deltoids, forearms, triceps. I mean, he almost looks kind of like a bodybuilder in a sense. But, I mean, I don't know what to say, say if it's because if this dude actually worked out um, or if it's just because he's a zombie, that's why he looks like that. You just see all that leanness come out. I really don't know. What's awesome right here at the front of his torso, his chest, we have this mark, these red markings. I don't know if they're a tattoo, but right here, all of his stomach, intestines, all of that is just kind of ripped out, missing, gone and his rib cage is actually protruding out as spikes. And when you look at it real quick, it kind of looks like its own face, the eyes being these red marks right here, and this is a mouth of some kind of demon, monster, zombie, whatever. Right here, his belt, it, obviously we can see it's spiked, also in the front it's studded, uh, kind of like a jock strap in a sense. I guess that hasn't rotted off then. His hands right here are very, very large, very exaggerated. Which makes sense because this dude is playing the guitar. We can see the guitar pick right here. His fingers are yellow, kind of the protruding bones. So I'm guessing these are supposed to be bones. Same color as his ribs right here. That's what I can only assume. Now this is the exclusive. So it actually comes with two guitars. Obviously the one that he's holding here 
and this one right here, which is a V guitar with the British flag right here, and a, a picture or actual sculpt of his portrait right here on top. From the two guitars though, I actually prefer this one. This one's cool as well, I really like the V, but at the same time, even though this head sculpt right here is cool, I don't know, I think it's just a little bit too much because it's it's a sculpt of his head right here and then obviously his head right there. But I'll go ahead and switch that out for you just to show you what it looks like. Okay, there's one. Yeah. And this one's actually the exclusive, Sideshow exclusive. Let's put the other one. And there it is, check it out. <laughs> pretty wild, pretty crazy. Now I forgot to mention that I love the pose of this. Now Lord Raptor, when you actually play some or display him straight forward, he is not looking at you. He's actually looking up in the air, as you can see right here. Reason for that is because he's probably hitting those notes and just screaming a chord, something of that nature, just partying, maybe after a victory, after beating somebody, because yes, this is his victory pose after he beats somebody, he busts out a guitar, well on it, you know, shaking his knees, shaking his legs, and just screaming in the air. But both guitars are highly defined, and actually these strings are real strings. Yes, they do move up and down, and you know, you can hear the twanging, the, 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 the twanging sounds on them when you pluck them or just mess with them a little bit. So yeah, they are real strings. And then finishing off with this portrait. As we can see, it's pretty much the last remnants of skin over a skull. Again, this dude is a zombie. He doesn't really have much of a mouth. It's just the teeth, the jawline, and the skull just barely covered with a fine layer of skin that's still decaying. His eyes are black and with red pupils, which makes him look completely menacing and evil. And I really love his hair, how it's really spiky. Just again, as I mentioned before, one of his moves or moves, part of his moveset is using electricity. So it makes sense that his hair is just kind of wailing wild spiky just all over the place almost like a super saiyan but overall i feel that this statue definitely holds up after all of these years i honestly feel that it's a statue that has gone under the radar and is highly underrated um like i mentioned before dark stalkers is a franchise that's kind of already done with and there are a lot of characters that really took center stage when it comes to the dark stalker series that continue on and fourthly, Lord Raptor, my favorite character to use in the game, wasn't one of them. So, as far as my knowledge goes, this is the only statue of Lord Raptor there is. And you can still find him in the aftermarket. He's not selling for all that much just because of his popularity or lack thereof. But, yeah, I mean, you know, I love this guy. He's freaking awesome. He's badass. Freaking undead zombie. Freaking metal artist i don't even know how to describe him but basically just a badass but let me know what you guys think about lord raptor here leave your comments down below subscribe if you haven't already doesn't cost you a dime but it helps me out tremendously and as always collect what makes you happy